Hi, I'm Nimrod from BDN Automotive and welcome to the second episode of the BDN Combustion Analysis tutorial video series. In today's episode, first of all, my colleague Balint will talk about the different sensors available on the market. And after that, I'll show you around in the combustion analysis software. As it was mentioned earlier, combustion analysis is about to capture the pressure trace inside the engine. Therefore, we need a pressure sensor inside the combustion chamber to measure it. There are two main technologies uh, for that purpose. The first is the drill-in sensor, and the second one is the spark plug or glow plug mounted sensor. First, I will talk a bit about the drill-in sensors. The drill-in sensor, as uh, it is shown in the picture, has a direct contact with the combustion chamber, therefore it, therefore it is used for uh, precise measurements, mainly for thermodynamic validations and first phase calibration and development works. However, it has a drawback as well, as the modification requirements of that sensor is quite high. The second one is the spark plug or glow plug mounted uh, sensors. It is much more flexible, it is much more easier to mount, but the drawback is that it doesn't have a direct contact with the engine or the combustion chamber itself. Therefore, the data quality is not so high as with the drilling sensor. A comparison table on that slide shows different properties of different kinds of sensors, like signal quality, frequency range, note detection, dimensions, and price. From the table, it is clearly visible that there is no perfect sensor, there is just an optimum choice for the given application. When you open the BDN combustion analysis software, this is the screen what comes up first. The software has three main sections, setup, measure and analyze. And in the setup page, you can find different tabs. The first is the general one. First of all, you can select the user interface mode. It could be basic and pro. The pro mode shows you a bit more parameters, which is usually used on an engine dyno where you actually have time to focus on everything what you see on the screen while the basic is used when you do a log or a measurement uh, on the rolling road or, or uh, on the street. Measuring mode also, uh, single cycle and average of different cycles. Uh, the average of cycles mode is also used on, on the engine dyno where you are measuring a static engine point. Units, we are in Europe so we use metric, but feel free to use imperial. And uh, you can specify the maximum uh, RPM, this is just for the scaling. Here's an important function, uh, or interesting, the demo mode. When you do a raw data log, you can actually replay it and uh, simulate the measurement, what we're gonna do a bit later. When you connect and disconnect the CA6 with the USB cable, the software indicates you the connection with a blue light on the bottom left corner. And uh, you can save and, and load the setup file in the top using uh, the normal icons for it. So when you go for the engine tab, it asks you for uh, the most basic engine parameters, such as uh, number of cylinders, firing order, bore stroke, conrod length, and so on and so on. And last but not least, the fuel system, uh, which could be gasoline and diesel and indirect, aka port fuel injection or direct injection. When you go to the crankshaft tab, you can select between the two different type of sensors, Hall and VR. And in the drop down menu, uh, you can choose from the built in trigger wheel patterns. If you find an engine with a trigger wheel pattern which is not in the software, feel free to contact us so we can develop it for you. Finally, you need to uh, give the reference DDC position. And uh, then we go to the pressure tab where you can actually refine the TDC position. Um, which is highly recommended to use. And uh, it is very important to do this while you're doing a coast down, otherwise it will not show any plausible numbers. On the top of this window, you can uh, configure the pressure sensors. For each input, you can choose from the top drop-down menu from the previously presented pressure sensors, such as uh, the Burrow PSG, 
the Sky Active X Master, the Kistler, and the different uptrends. And after that, you can scale the sensor. Currently, this is a 340 bar sensor, and you can choose which cylinder it is built in. Last but not least, on the setup page, there is the CAN bus configuration window. And uh, here you can disable and enable uh, the CAN communication, and also uh, set up the CAN address and, uh, and the DBC file. When you go to the measure page, you can uh, start a measurement and stop it, and start a log and stop it. When you do a log, it is very important to select how many cycles you would like to log. If you want to choose a continuous log, make sure you choose it or select it. Otherwise, uh, the software by default only saves 10 cycles to save a bit, bit of uh, disk space. Then on the left side of the screen, you can see the RPM, some uh, pressure knock and MFB50 indicators, and uh, a big pressure trace an RPM histogram, pressure peak, and a knock histogram as well. Before you hit the start button, it is very important to connect to the CA6. First of all, you need to connect the big connector, which is the sensors, the VR sensors, and the CAN communication with the vehicle. And then, last but not least, you need to connect the small connector, which is responsible for the USB communication. And back to the software, let's hit the start button to see a simulation of a previously recorded measurement. So as you can see, uh, we were doing a static RPM measuring point on the dyno rolling road. And uh, here you can see the pressure trace rolling and uh, all the parameters on the right side as well. But it's more important that we can analyze this log, what we've taken right now. So uh, you can see that this, this is a 3000 RPM static measuring point. The first section of the log is, is just basically the the acceleration. And uh, in this window, you can see the, the pressure peak, the knock amplitude, the MFB50, and the IMAP in the function of the number of cycles. On the right side, you can see the currently selected cycle, which uh, you can move around with uh, this, this red scroll bar here, or the arrows right and left here. So as you can see, the currently selected cycle, uh, let's actually select a better one, which has a bit of knock. So it has a uh, 70 bar peak pressure, whilst the average is around 43. Hold on, this includes the acceleration as well, so it's not that accurate. And it has a 3.6 bars knock amplitude. As we told you uh, earlier, this is a bit, a bit harmful, because currently we are on 3000 RPM and the knock pressure is uh, 3.6 bar. But if we look at the average of, of the knock pressure, which is uh, around one bar, we can see that this operating point is still kind of safe. And the IMAP in this operating point was uh, 17 bar, 17.11 actually. And on the right side, if we click on uh, the open cycle in floating window, we can see the pressure trace and uh, the heat release functions and the, the, pressure, uh, the pressure gradient function for only this cycle. And if we go around uh, with, with the arrows left and right, we can move around the different cycles as well. Also, uh, feel free to scale uh, all the axes. So let's see, only the combustion process, which is uh, minus 30 to 130, and also scale it down because this was not high pressure. And as you can see, this cycle was knocking a bit, so there's a slight amount of oscillation on there. The latest version of the BDN combustion analysis software can be always found on our website. So make sure you download it, play around with it. It will include the, the raw data files as well and the demo functions, so you can always uh, replay them and, and play around with the whole software to get a feeling how it works. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Make sure you subscribe to our newsletter in the link below to get all the relevant info and updates. And of course, the next sessions of the BDN tutorial videos. Get the most out of your engines and let's win races together. Mm -hmm.